Hey, it's Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and I have a big announcement on a change in the Silhouette Studio software that is going to affect any user who is using version 4.5 or higher and uses it to save files as SVG files. This is something that you may have already experienced. I've been troubleshooting it the last couple weeks, and now I know why it's happening. So if you have had SVG files that you have saved in version 4.5 or higher, that the SVG lines, when you open the file back up, are gone. Your file looks like there's nothing there. I will show you an example here. I created this SVG file yesterday. And when I did, you can see if I compare it to my original, I have that is part of the design up here in the top left corner. And when I go to my design, there's nothing there. Part of it has disappeared. This is a change in the Silhouette Studio software moving forward from 4.5 and higher. It is something that you will need to be aware of and work with as we move forward with the software. I can't explain to make it understandable in why this has changed going forward, but it is a change that we are all going to have to work with. So I want to provide some ways that you can work around this and continue to save as an SVG file in your Silhouette Studio software to work for you. And if you encounter this with any of your customers or yourself working with this file. So first, let me explain how this happens. So I have this file I created here. My file com what consisted of two parts. This, these three little basic shapes were a trophy SVG that I opened up. My purpose was to save an SVG file for my, to be able to cut on my Glowforge. So I opened an SVG file for a trophy and then I added the text. Now what you saw on my saved SVG file is that my text saved just fine and these two lines saved just fine. The reason that is is because it was a previous SVG file that I had opened and I did not alter these two shapes. However, this shape right here, I right clicked and I released the compound path and I altered that center rectangle to account for my kerf for my Glowforge when I was cutting with my laser. That means that I made a change to the SVG file in the Silhouette Studio software. Now it affects the SVG when I save it. So when I saved it as an SVG, it disappeared. It is still there. You can see if I select everything, so I dragged my mouse with left click and dragged my mouse across everything. It is still there. Your design is still there. You just can't see it. So if you click everything to select it or you press Control A, you are going to be able to see it. So if I just select this design, you, I can fill it with a color and you see that it's on the screen. If I undo that, I can also, even though it shows as a red, here in my line style panel, or if I come over here to my line style panel and color, it, it actually doesn't show there. It shows here red. If I choose red again, it will show up. So this is a change going forward in version 4.5 and higher. If your cut lines are not showing on the SVG file, and it's, it's happening not only when you open it back up in Silhouette Studio, but also when you're viewing in Google Chrome or in other programs. If for some reason those SVG lines are not showing up around your design, there's a few things you can do to work with this. You are going to have to change your workflow. At the moment when I'm recording this video, there is no other way to do this. If your SVG files have disappeared, you're going to have to change how you are saving them and how you're exporting them in order to have them show up again. So I'm going to give you three different ways that you can do this. I'm going to come back here to my original file. You want to select the entire SVG that you're working with. So 
I don't need to select these two pieces. As you saw, those lines save just fine because it was previously an SVG. In this case, this is the section I need to work with. So whatever SVG you are working with, if you created the entire design, you need to select the entire design. Then I come over to your line style panel on the right hand side. And I've reported this issue that there's no up and down arrow showing in the software at the moment. So you're going to have to change this manually. So you want to just change, all you have to do is change it to a one. And you're gonna notice the line, the color changes a little bit on the screen as well. It gets kind of lighter. It's, I, I can't explain that, but it, we've reported it. So when I do this, if I select my entire design and I save it as an SVG, save selection, save to hard drive. And I, you can see I've, I've done this, tested it a few times. So I'm gonna start with video three, SVG, hit okay. And then I'm gonna open that again so you can see it. Now you can see that the, cut, the lines show up around my SVG file where they previously didn't. So that's one way, changing your line thickness. Now, something to note here, when you change your line thickness, if I come up here and I go to print, if I were to be doing a print and cut, it is going to print that line because it now has a line thickness. You can see these ones are even bolder. That is because this file, if I click on one of these, this file was actually created, the SVG was created to be used with a Glowforge. So the original designer saved the original file as 0.57 line thickness. Now, it was designed for a Glowforge, so it was not designed with the purpose to print and cut, but I wanted to show you if you are creating SVG files with a cut line to be um, used in print and cut, if I come over to file print, you're going to see that those lines now print if you increase the line thickness. So something to be aware of. I'm gonna show you another option here. Option number two, let's undo this all the way back. Oh, wrong one, SVG. Go back to my original file. Now I'm gonna hit undo until I know that the line thickness has gone back. So the second way to do this is to select your SVG file and you're going to choose print lines of selected shapes. Now, if I were to print this directly, it will print that on my page as the studio file. If I select everything and I choose file, save selection, save to hard drive, and I choose video three, one, save it as an SVG. If I open that SVG up, you can see that my SVG now has lines around it again. If I go to file print, that print does not save that option that I selected with print selected lines does not save as a printed line. So that's something to notice in the difference. If I had to choose between the first two, I would go with the second option of print selected lines, but you're going to have to get used to clicking that, go back to my original file, clicking that option before you save as an SVG file or your lines are going to show up and be, or your design is gonna look empty. It's still there, but it's going to look empty, um, which you may experience when customers um, contact you. So option number three, and this probably will not work for every design that you save as an SVG. It really just depends on what the purpose of your SVG files are, which there are users out there creating SVG files for all kinds of things. So in my instance, and this is just something that I happened upon, when I save this file, let's go back here and undo what I did before. So I'm back to my original file. Remember, if I saved this file, save selection, save to hard drive, I'm just gonna put video four. For, when I open this SVG, find the right button here. 
video four, this part disappeared, but I had created the text. So I had to think through this one. Why did the text not disappear? It was because it was filled with a color in my original design. So the uh, design area that I altered on this SVG file disappeared, but since my text was filled with color, it still showed up. So just in case you are in creating your designs, like I said, some, some uses you don't need a fill color or some SVG files, you may be creating things you don't add fill colors to. Um, it may not be an option that you can utilize 100% of the time, but if I come in here and I change this and I fill it with a color, and then I save this as an SVG file, save selection, save to hard drive. You can see I've tried, I've tested this quite a bit to be able to make the video. If I open that SVG file back up, video one, now that I filled it with a color, it shows up in my SVG file. So those are three different ways that you can work with saving as an SVG going forward. If you are experiencing the cut lines or the, SV, the outline of that SVG is not showing up, this is how you can work with it going forward. It is a change and it is something that we are going to have to get used to and to work with. So I hope these tips have helped to be able to answer your questions and to work through the issue if you are encountering it. I hope you have a great day.